weekend? Well, this is Super Bowl Sunday, and Americans will eat an astounding 8 million pounds of guacamole. 8 million pounds. Safe to say your guac plays an important role in your Super Bowl party tonight. So listen up because we are going to teach you how to make rockin' good guac with Cochina, Cochina 214's Lambrini, Macheski, and Marco. How are you guys doing Hi, today? Thanks for having us this morning. Uh, this is, I have to tell you, I wish this was smell vision because it smells <laughs> absolutely incredible in here. So talk us through this. How do we make the best guac yeah. around? Well, so first you have to start with good avocados. Okay. A lot of people don't know. You have to be able to touch it and it gives back a little bit. Okay. If it's hard as a rock, it's not going to make good guacamole. Okay, so really take the time to feel them, touch them. And Florida avocado or Hass? Hass avocados. Okay. Yep. Okay. So Marco's already split some of them. Um, for, we're making it for 10 people, this recipe, so he's used eight avocados. A lot of people get scared with the pit. You just stick your knife in, super easy, and then you spoon it out. So if it has that give, you know, it comes out real easily. Okay, now here's, I, I love making fresh guac, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes I notice like little discolorations mm -hmm. in there when you scoop it out. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay. Yeah. If you open it and it's black on the inside, not a good Different avocado. question. Yep. Okay. But these are green, you know, the majority of it's green. It's got that little bit of yellow in it, so that's really good. The next thing is the red onion. For green onions. Any particular reason why red onion? It just has more flavor to it. Um, okay. You know, the yellow can be sweet, um, so it's just the flavor that it adds. Tomatoes. We've got two tomatoes that we're going to use for the ten people. But look at the color. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's gorgeous. One of, yeah. the, one of the nice things about serving guacamole. Why do you think it is that guacamole has become the staple, as you heard, of Super Bowl parties? Yeah, I don't know. It just goes really great with chips, and it's creamy, and it's all, you know, whole foods. Yeah. It's just fresh vegetables. Um, he oh. added serrano peppers. Serrano So peppers. a lot of people think it's jalapeno. Um, the serrano really gives it that bite. Okay. Um, you can add more if you'd like. We use two for the 10 person recipe. He's adding fresh cilantro. It's awesome. That's what gives it that really good smell. And then salt and pepper. We already actually mixed some in together. Okay, now this is one of the things I do not put in my guacamole. I guess I'm making a big mistake. Yeah, without the salt, it tastes a little bland. The salt really brings out the flavors. Okay. So he's already got it in here. And then the other thing, so once he gets this all finished, our trick, you know, we were voted best guacamole, best appetizer right. in the Silver Spoon Awards. Which and is why we invited you guys, yeah, by the no, way. <laughs> but the trick is, it'll do the fresh lime. Um, it's using this. It's using a potato masher or a whisk to mix it. Okay. Because then you get some smooth, you get a little chunky. Um, it, it gives it a little texture. Okay. So, but this is super easy, super now, easy to make. Does the lime juice help if you need to keep it? I mean, will that help it from turning turning no, brown? No, it quickly? does a little bit. But the trick to keeping it from browning is eating if you it make, real quick. Eating it quick. <laughs> no, but if you make it early in the morning, say, right. put it in a container and put saran wrap over it. Okay. Completely seal it with saran wrap, and it keeps it from browning. All right. So if somebody once told me that when you do that trick, mm -hmm. that you need to make sure the saran wrap is actually touching. Totally top. touching it. You want to get all air out. What happens is it oxidizes. So okay. if it comes in contact with air, that's what causes it to brown. So, so that's what you do. So you just you, you get you want it a little bit chunky, right? Yep, you do. So use potato masher, and that's the big secret. Yep, or a whisk like he's doing here. That's great stuff, Lambrini and Marco. Thank you so Thanks much for, for coming. Us. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Happy really Super Bowl. Really appreciate you guys coming in and showing that to us. Enjoy hey, coming your up luck. on Good Day Orlando, the following is.